Well, one of the things that inspired me to do my polymer clay micro mosaic was the Roman glass micro mosaic and the Wicho oh, Indian seed beadwork. Oh, yeah. When I found out that they had a glass micro mosaic class in Venice, I really wanted to go. And Dan's never been to Venice, even though he's worked with glass. So he was ready to sign up for the, uh, for the class. It was a two week class, and we wanted to find out what they embedded the glass micro mosaic in. So we went there, and they had this paste they made up, and they didn't tell us what the formula uh, is. And then for the class, they had us set it in window putty. We went all window? the way to Venice and set it in window putty. <laughs> so I came back and I thought, I'm going to set it in Sculpey. Because t about 10 years ago, I made a glass micro mosaic and I set it in Sculpey and it lasted very well. So now I'm teaching this glass micro mosaic, uh, 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 we'll be teaching glass micro mosaic classes. And I actually taught one um, before. And we set it, cut the glass, pull the, pull the glass stringers, hand file each one, and set it all in Sculpey, and then bake it. And it's fine. So That is a fabulous story. Yeah. We have a glass micro mosaic um, class coming up in, in Portland. It's a week-long class. And I might have one of my former uh, Palmer students sign up. I don't know. I'm really hoping. But um, we have one piece we're collaborating. I'm collaborating with Dan on right. um, for a glass show at Mobilia. Where's Dan? Oh, my husband Dan. Yeah. And um, then there's another show um, on. Um, I, I forgot what the. I think it's to do with some kind of jewelry collection, so we have to make a major piece. So I think both of them are due like end of the month. And then I have another big necklace due at Aramont, where I'm also teaching uh, enameling on glass class with Dan. Mm. So it's strange, I have, uh, I'm teaching like three, or co-teaching three glass classes this year, and I've taught only one palm clay <laughs> class this year, and um, but it, the, I I like doing the glass micro mosaics, but I enjoy doing the female or um, a palm clay much better because I can mix whatever colors I want. Oh sure. And I don't have to cut each piece individually, as I, I cut the I have to do it in glass, and I have a lot better control that I could achieve in polymer than glass. But what do you get from the glass? The mm. uh, glass, well one is this challenge, you know, that this is what how it's traditionally made. And um, and in Venetian they don't re grout the piece and polish it like the Roman glass mm. micro mosaic, according to our teacher. So I thought I'm gonna try one where after I do the glass, I'm going to grout it with scalping and then uh, bake it and then resand and polish it. And it looked incredibly like Palmer clay. <laughs> wow. So, um, but it takes like three, four times longer. So I think for me, I'm not going to grout and polish my glass micro mosaics. But the one major piece I've done so far is a combination of um, glass, polymer, and seed bead micro mosaic, and enameled glass beads. You've already done this piece. I did this piece. That's the sheep. That's necklace. the sheep. Oh, and, and I bet I have. Do you have an extra postcard? Can I get? The I can email you. A or is it picture. on your site? No, it's. Not I a, think it's on the uh, uh, website. The 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 site that's. The cdbeats.biz, okay. I think so, and I can and certainly send you a postcard. Okay. And um, that piece will be in the Wing Luke Asian Art Museum show, one of the pieces there. And that show also, um, they picked um, all, all polymer clay micro mosaics I, I did. 
and they didn't pick the other, like the Rolodex bracelets. I don't know why she decided to choose focus on micro mosaics, mm -hmm. but all the rest are polymer clay. Mm -hmm. And one is a bangle I did uh, seven years ago, I think. Um, for uh, um, this customer, she turned 50 and she wanted a special piece. So it's all northwest um, uh, coast because she loves to hike and swim. Yeah. So um, the metal work is done by Chuck Dimitrovich. Has that one been on the web? Have we? I don't think so because okay. I did not have a good um, image of it. Oh, I see. And now when I got it back, I reshot it. So now I do have oh. a good image of it. But um, the show lasts like well, the show lasts from May until next February, and she lent me the piece in October last year, um, right after I moved. So I be keeping this piece for more than a year. Wow. So I feel kind of guilty about it. And where is that show? That's at, at Wing Luke Asian Art Museum mm -hmm. in, um, in Seattle. But I think it's called Wing Luke Museum of the P Pacific. Oh, I'm sure I can find yeah, it. Okay, yeah, they changed their name. So um, maybe Pacific Peoples or something. And it opens May 12. Okay. And okay. it's a group show. Um, they are focusing on glass because there's a glass um, conference coming through um, Seattle, the gas conference. Oh. Uh, I think it's the Glass Art Society. Oh. And, um, and my, another piece of mine that's a Palmer micro mosaic is in the uh, Metal Guild show. And that's the piece I was telling um, um, Olivia about. And um, that was the Celebrating 70 a show, the piece I'd made for that.